Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I've got Anderson here with me and you will definitely be hearing him grunt. <laughs> Newborns do be grunting. But before we go ahead and get into this vlog, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this vlog, Coopert. So Coopert is a free extension designed to help consumers save money while shopping online. We all know I love to shop online. It supports Chrome, Edge, Opera, Firefox, and Safari on desktop, and Safari on mobile with the Coopert app. And I love it because it automatically finds me the best coupons. And it will literally just apply it right there for you to save money with your online shopping. Every single time I do any sort of online shopping, I am always making sure that I'm looking up coupons and going on the hunt for coupons can be exhausting and it's just nice to be able to click a button and have them find the very best coupon and just apply it right there for you at checkout. And Cooper's automatic coupon testing service is already supported by over 2.6 million retailers. So I already have the extension installed. So let me show you guys how easy it is to use. I'm going on here right now to Spirit Halloween as you guys guys know I freaking love Halloween. I love all the seasons coming up. So this is perfect for me to be able to order some Halloween goodies and get a discount. So as you can see, Cooper pops right up and immediately starts going to work and going through all the coupons to find you the very best deal. It is so fast. It is that simple. I will go ahead and put a link down below in the description box so you guys can use Cooper now and start saving money and avoid paying full price, especially with the holiday season coming up. Hey you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It is 10.30, I'm getting kind of a slow start this morning. Anderson is back to sleep, so we went back to sleep and now it's 10.30 and he's on his first nap of the day. So I am about to make some breakfast, so I thought I would go ahead and vlog it. I have some leftover turkey sausage. So I'm gonna make a little breakfast burrito. I like never have a breakfast burrito, but like how good does that sound? And I have one slice left of pepper jack cheese. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, I'm just gonna do egg and wow, I just had the most brain farty fart ever. Egg, turkey sausage, and some Peppa Jack. On the agenda today, we have just stuff to get done at home. There is so much laundry. Um, I really wanna go through and organize my makeup and do some purging. I had, <laughs> I had showed you guys that um, Makeup Forever powder and someone recommended doing like a declutter of makeup and like purging old makeup and maybe we can try some other powder foundations because honestly, for like the quick makeup days, um, especially as it's getting cooler, cause like I haven't really been wearing foundation on warmer days and today's like in the seventies again. <laughs> Where are you fall? Um, so like I haven't, didn't put anything on my skin today, uh, but for quick makeup days going into the cooler seasons when I will be wearing makeup, the powder foundation is the key. There's a video if you didn't watch it yet. I think it has quick makeup hack in the title and I, Use just powder foundation, it's so quick. It is so good, lasts all day, looks amazing. So I'm gonna do some research and see what other like powder foundations are popular. Maybe I can try a drugstore one because we love an affordable option. So we're just gonna do some house stuff and potentially, potentially go to Trader Joe's. You guys know I love to try the fall snacks. Seasonal snacks from Trader Joe's is like a rite of passage. You gotta do it every year. All right, anyway, clearly I'm hungry, so let's make breakfast. Okay, you guys, I am in my office and I'm about to go through all these drawers. This is my little vanity over here with my old desk. If you want a good vanity light mirror, this one is so good. It has warm right there, cool, and then I do medium as a plug. I've been using it for a while now and I still really like it. It's a really good size, it looks very nice. So I'll put a link to that if you need a good vanity mirror, but let's go ahead and dive in. I ended up placing a Target pickup order for two different drugstore powder foundations, one from Maybelline and one from L'Oreal. 
So I want to try those out and see, um, cause realistically we need one that's not expired, but there's hardly any left in here and I, it's fine. My skin's fine. Honestly, I think, uh, we're all out here using expired makeup or maybe I'm just speaking for myself. <laughs> it also, it's getting like a little bit overly cluttered in here. Um, so I'm going to make a pile for, uh, stuff to throw away. Obviously we're going to keep what we're going to keep in here. And then I'm going to make a little pile for my mom for her to go through. Cause she's pretty much the only person I would give used makeup to that would be comfortable with that. So let's get started. So up first here, we've got uh, the foundation drawer. We've got foundations and powders, primers, liquid blushes, blush. These are a bunch of other like liquid products. We've got my new favorites that are old. These Makeup Forever, oh my gosh, these are the ones that I showed in that video. They are the Matte Velvet Skin. <gasps> they are so good. If I don't end up liking any of the drugstore ones I'm gonna try, I will buy this again. This stuff is, oh, so good. And as you can see, I have used quite a lot of, oh, this one hasn't really been used. This one was a little bit too dark. Um, but anyway, I really freaking love those. Okay, you guys, so the good thing is this was pretty easy to organize and it's really my only makeup drawer that like needed to be gone through because I did a makeup purge, uh, I can't remember how long ago, but this drawer has been staying very organized. It's just like brow products and stuff and like mascaras that I'm always going through. So I really just needed to go through here. There's definitely a bit of stuff that needed to go. Um, some stuff is good enough to give to my mom, like not expired and all that. So yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is definitely better, but yeah, in terms of powder foundation, all I've got are those Makeup Forever ones. So very excited to try out other ones and they're only $10 each. Okay, so my Target pickup is actually already ready. It was ready really fast. It was just <laughs> two powder foundations. Um, but Anderson is sleeping, and I don't know if I want to risk waking him up by transporting him to his car seat. So, don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I just threw in a load of laundry, and we're just we're just hanging out now. So as soon as I feel comfy and ready, we will go get the Target pickup. And then I was also deciding about the Trader Joe's and I realized it's Saturday right now. Am I really trying to choose violence and go to Trader Joe's on a Saturday? That is like the literal worst decision I could possibly make. But you never know. I might, I might be feeling risky later. All right, I am home and I secured the goods. I got the Maybelline Superstay, L'Oreal True Match, so I can't wait to give these a try. Hopefully the colors are good because I did order online, but <laughs> we'll see. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I'm checking in right now. It has been one of those days where I didn't get anything done the rest of today. I have been chilling with Anderson, um, took a walk with the dog and the baby, and that's it. <laughs> so I think we'll try those foundations tomorrow. Um, Anderson's wearing one of his new onesies and he looks so cute. The little milk and cookies, like, are you kidding me? It's so cute. I am diving into the new Love is Blind. It just came out. I'm so excited. Um, and it's like, ugh, it's so fun to start a new season because I love going through the process where they're like in the pods and then it like transitions into the honeymoon, then the real life. I like the show. Like I'm trying to say I like the show because it has different like phases, which is really fun. So um, I'm super excited, super excited. It's also 6.30 and it's dark. I am sad about it. I would just be happy if it would get dark always at like 
7 7 30 i'm fine with that like all i wish it could just always be the same time of it getting dark because it's such a mental game for me i don't know why it just like i'm trying to just embrace it and like oh be cozy with my baby but <laughs> i don't know it's hard for me let me know if you guys are the same way uh but you just went to go pick us up some dinner um because it's also one of those nights where neither of us is cooking so i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow all right you guys good morning i'm so excited lily is on her way here now um you know how i had mentioned in the last vlog or a couple vlogs ago her trip got like a little bit rescheduled because something that happened so it's going to be more of a shorter trip where she's not able to spend a few days but we have today so we are going to just chill chat catch up so it's not like we'll be able to do any like fun fall activities or anything we're just gonna like take the time to really chat and catch up and just like be together for her to see anderson um so i won't really get like much content with her but of course you guys can say hi i actually popped the cookies in the oven that i got the gluten-free pumpkin cookies so you know i can have those out for her to nibble on while she's here and yeah i'm super excited to just oh sit and chat for hours we're gonna order lunch and i'm just glad it's like a beautiful day so we can like enjoy um sitting outside and getting some fresh air because honestly <laughs> whenever i can get outside and get fresh air i'm gonna do it because soon it will be winter all right you guys guess what time it is we are trying two count them two drugstore powder foundations and i'm so excited okay so i don't remember if i've ever tried these <laughs> Because that's my life and my memory is horrible especially since giving birth so we've got the maybelline super stay and then the l'oreal true match and we're gonna give them a whirl you guys already know how much i absolutely adore the matte velvet skin from makeup forever so i'm gonna do half on one side and half on the other i'm gonna be filming another video as well later today so i'm gonna do like my full makeup routine so how i apply the makeup forever one is i just put it on top of my moisturizer i didn't bother with like primer or anything all right so first and foremost here are the shades they both look super different so <laughs> we'll see how that goes i am hopeful though because both of these actually had really good reviews and they both do come with a mirror and a little you know powder puff situation same on this one but this one is not a powder one it's more of a sponge consistency which i personally like to use those over like the soft ones here but how i applied the makeup for everyone was just with a brush this is the jessup 101 brush my favorite amazon makeup brushes so affordable such good quality i'll put a link to them all right so let's just dive right in here <laughs> this is how i normally oh this one does not have as much coverage my makeup forever has so much coverage oh my gosh this is not covering very much <laughs> like i have to really really uh take a lot of product on here all right so far i am not super impressed you can still see all of my hyperpigmentation coming through and i'm looking for like a powder foundation right and this does say super blendable powder. At this point though, I would really only use this to set a liquid foundation because the coverage is just not there. I'm trying to kind of layer more and see if I can like build up the coverage, but you have to like use a lot of product and I don't love that. All right, so I put so much of that on. <laughs> I am not super impressed with that one. Um, I think it'd be fine to like set a liquid, like I said. It like sits nicely on the skin. It's not like dry patching or anything like that, but it doesn't have much coverage. So there's that one. Let's hope for a bit more coverage from Miss Maybelline here. So let's just, oh, immediately putting this one on. There was an immediate bit more coverage. This one has a lot more kickback of product. But then again, so does my Makeup Forever one has a lot of kickback, which is fine in my opinion, because then I just kind of <laughs> scoop it up. Immediately, this one has so much more coverage, so much more. I don't know if you can tell 
this one has more coverage here. And yes, it looks powdery. That's why we use some hydrating spray at the end. It's funny how somehow the colors still both worked out <laughs> somehow. Okay, I really like the Maybelline one. Like, it's honestly very comparable to the Makeup Forever in terms of like coverage. Yeah, you can see the difference in coverage, I think. Wow, and I had to use so much less over here. All right, that is our winner. I'm gonna take the Maybelline one now and cover up the L'Oreal side. Definitely a product I will reach for again. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on my triangle puff to get like up under the eye. I do feel like it looks good, but I don't know. Part of me thinks the Makeup Forever just looks better. Like I do think this still looks pretty good, like pretty good, especially for, you know, a $10 price point, but the Makeup Forever one just has a little bit more coverage. And for some reason, this feels more dry on my skin than the Makeup Forever one. Somehow that one doesn't feel so dry. Overall, like it still did a pretty good job, but a lot, I can still see a little bit of my redness and hyperpigmentation, whereas I don't normally have that issue with the other powders. So I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10, whereas the Makeup Forever is like a 9.5 out of 10. But like I said, for the price, Pretty darn good if you want a powder foundation from the drugstore that's quick and easy. If you don't have hyperpigmentation, you don't have as much to cover, you know, I could conceal first, but this is like a quick makeup hack that I like to just bing, bang, boom, quick and easy. Oh, one thing I'll say is too, this is six grams. This is 11 grams. Let me look up the price. Okay, so this is $44, whereas this was like 10 or 11 but you get double. So it's about it's about 50% more in cost with the ratio to product. Um, I think I would still think this is a little more worth it. Um, but like I said, if you have a little bit less to cover, this is still very good. Would I bother with this again? Absolutely not, but I'm gonna keep it and use it for setting. But yeah, my face right now feels a little bit like tight and dry, which I don't get with the makeup forever. So I think, I'm really looking forward to putting on my uh, setting powder at the end of this. Yeah, I don't feel like the coverage is as good. It's a bit of a bummer. Maybe I'll buy a new one of the Makeup Forevers. Yeah, the coverage, like even as I'm putting on my bronzer, it's like wiping off the coverage and my, my marks are coming through. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm actually gonna take some of the Makeup Forever now and just like conceal these spots. Like look at like the coverage on this one is like nuts. Oh, it's like just this full coverage magic. Let me know if you guys have a full coverage powder from the drugstore that you love, because I would love to find one comparable to this. So if you have one that you want me to try, let me know and I will try it. Okay, I just finished my makeup. See how good the powder looks once you've like done the other products and just set it down with some spray. It looks like such a good base and so quick. I'm gonna recurl my front pieces here. And I will check back in with you guys later. Look who's here. The coolest aunt in the world. Are you happy your aunt's here? We had to finagle our seats because the shade is like, it's, it's hot, in the so sun. hot in the sun. It's so <laughs> hot in the sun. Hi, Baba. Are you love seeing your auntie? Yeah. Yes. We've got baby right here. Lily brought some flowers. Oh, so beautiful. Yes, Lily got um, Anderson this blanket and it's actually um, a muslin swaddle, but it's huge. We use it every day. It is so freaking nice. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, it is now later. It is almost seven o'clock already. The day flew. Um, had a really good hangout sesh with Lily today. We just talked for hours and caught up and she'll be back in December for a longer stay but i was just happy to be able to see her at all happy for her to meet anderson while he's still very young and small and yeah it was a really really good day and of course oh, she's so sweet i was like you did not have to bring me more gifts like she already has been the best most supportive friend ever during postpartum labor pregnancy she was amazing but she brought more gifts she brought some honest diapers size two i am stocking up on my diapers it is amazing also um 
I didn't realize we had run out of Huggies and I had so many stocked up from like different brands and stuff to try. Um, we tried a new brand today called Rascals. Um, their newborn diapers are really good. They're super, super, super soft. Um, like I really like the way the fabric is. I'm excited to try the Honest too. There's just so many kinds of, of diapers. So let me know your favorite brand of diapers. I'm curious. And then she got us some more of these um, muslin blankets because she had got us a different one, which I showed you earlier that we love. Love a muslin blanket. And then this was so exciting. These burp cloths have geese on them that are like identical to the wall decals in the nursery. Like they look the same. How amazing is that? Um, and then this adorable onesie. She said it's organic cotton, very beautiful color. Love it. And then some little teethers. Oh, hello, Baba. You waking up? Also, I totally forgot that these came in the mail yesterday. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? The barrel leg jean hunt continues. And I told you guys that I was on the hunt for a good pair of barrel leg jeans that would accommodate my plus size body. And a lot of you guys, I mean, it's like the overall consensus that they're like ugly. Like people just hate barrel leg jeans. The reason why I feel like I would like them on me is because my legs like do the opposite. Like, <laughs> like they don't go out, they go in. The way my legs are shaped. And no, there's nothing wrong with my legs, all right? I almost feel like it would counteract the inward. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make any sense at all? So you guys actually told me to try Anthropology, and by the time I'd seen that, I already ordered this pair from Eloquy because they were having a sale. And if they don't work, I'll return them, of course. But stay tuned for another try from uh, from Anthropology. So <laughs> we will see. Let's try these on because I am dying to find out if they will fit. <laughs> it's weird because like even being <clears throat> at the weight I was before getting pregnant, like my body is like shaped a little differently. It's just, your body does change a bit um, after birth. Okay, they fit. Now how do they, how do they look? Okay, I don't feel like they're giving barrel. Like they just look like a normal loose jean or do they look barrel? Is, is, does it look barrel? I don't have a full length mirror. So I kind of looked in the bathroom mirror. They fit nice. They're very comfortable and stretchy. They come up really high, like really high. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at this in the footage or upstairs, but I mean, I like a baggy jean. It's more comfortable. I'm over like a tight jean. So they feel good. I don't know how they look. So I guess you and I will find out together, but they feel good. But I just don't think, I'm not seeing like the barrel. <laughs> The barrel. Anyway, you guys, I am coming on here to end this vlog. We're about to watch the finale of Acapulco. Such a good show. Let me know if you guys watch it. But thank you for hanging out with me. I love you so much. I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.